luckiest old broad on TV. <laughs> and we were lucky to have her. The only child of an electrical engineer and homemaker, Betty began her career in radio in 1939. But in 1952, Betty got her first start in television with her first series, Life with Elizabeth. Well, this is Martha. You two are going to be brothers. Betty continued to work in TV over the next two decades, but it wasn't until 1973 that she found mainstream success. I'm sorry, but nothing you've said could ever make me change my mind about Lars. As the devious, man-hungry Sue Ann Nivens on the Mary Tyler Moore Show, Betty won two of her five Emmys. She was your live-in neighborhood nymphomaniac, and uh, everybody should have a hobby, and boy, did she have a hobby. Then in 1985, Betty began a new series and found yet another generation's worth of fans. Oh, we better put out the welcome mat. <laughs> we don't have a welcome mat. What about the one Dorothy says is at the foot of your bed? As the lovable and naive Rose Nyland, Betty and her fellow Golden Girls revolutionized what it meant to be a senior citizen. We're all just as vital and sensual and, and uh, nutty and good and bad as anybody else. In recent years, Betty had enjoyed a career revival. People just couldn't get enough of her, and she was everywhere. From hosting Saturday Night Live in 2010. Well, it's great to be here for a number of reasons. <laughs> to groping Sandra Bullock in The Proposal. It's like an Easter egg, huh? <laughs> Betty proved age is just a number. I'm blessed with good health. That's the bottom line, and that's the thing I'm luckiest about. But uh, I, I love what I do. And that's why, despite her age, Betty showed no signs of slowing down, even having two shows on the air at once. To still be working and have them come to you offering you work, not begging for it, that I, it's just too good to be true. Betty credited her positive and youthful spirit to her late husband, game show host Alan Ludden. Married for 17 years before he passed away of cancer in 1981, Betty called him the love of her life. I swear, somewhere in here he'd tell me, you gotta, you gotta keep going and you gotta, you know, shape up or ship out. Betty devoted much of her widowed years to being a champion of animal rights. Using her celebrity status and million plus Twitter followers, she helped bring awareness to her cause. Please visit guidedogs.com to learn how to help today. But perhaps her biggest contribution has been making her golden years truly golden, like Rose Nyland and Friends, redefining age and loving each and every passing birthday. Everyone gets better and better and better, and I get older and older and older, but it's wonderful. Witty one-liners, those, those sarcastic jabs that she would always find a way to interject uh, into a funny scene. It was just, um, uh, again, one of a kind to see to see Rose on uh, on Golden Girls. Uh, so, Sidoni, thanks a lot for your comment. We'll look for some more. Again, let us know um, uh, what you guys think. Yeah, you know, ah, this is this is so terrible as well. Heather here pointing out hashtag KJB. So sad. Was looking forward to her huge birthday special. Loved her. Grew up watching her. And you know that there was going to be something special for Betty White's 100th birthday. Heather bringing up an excellent point here. That wasn't going to be just a date on the calendar that was just going to flip over from one date to the next without there being something really big and special. Perhaps the biggest uh, birthday party in the world for Betty White um, turning 100 years old. Um, so sad. Just absolutely terrible that, uh, that it would be three weeks, uh, roughly three weeks before uh, January 17th when she was set to turn 100 that she would pass away and doing so on New Year's Eve. A day, of course, it's usually a day of... Um, usually a day of happiness as we turn the calendar from one year to the next. But let's also just, I'm just going to be frank with a lot of people that have been joining us. 2020 has been a really crummy year. 2021 has been a crummy year as well. We can only hope, we can only hope that 2022 is going to be a much better year. Um, we have, of course, Betty White's passing now being lumped in and included with 2021. It's, this is a tough one to swallow for sure. Someone who brought uh, so much happiness, and, and you never want to talk about somebody's, somebody's passing. We have celebrity deaths that occur, of course, uh, all too frequently, and we talk about them here on the news, and sometimes someone will pass away, someone that you'll look back in the, through the annals of history, and they have more of a divisive past. Betty White is as universally beloved as perhaps any celebrity, any icon, any titan of the TV world as there ever will be. 
someone who was just universally loved by admirers, really, as I said earlier, around the world. You're not going to find anybody out there that didn't at least enjoy uh, some of her moments in TV history, whether it was on the Mary, Mary Tyler Moore show or whether or not it was with Golden Girls or one of the countless other specials. She also, she had an illustrious career that spanned so many other shows. I mean, game shows she was also uh, a big part of. Uh, Hollywood Squares is one that uh, immediately comes to mind as well. Um, and, and so uh, just to, just to, again, the, the amount of projects that she was involved in, both in front of and behind the camera, there was only one Betty White, and there will only ever be one Betty White. We'll look for some more. Hashtag uh, HeyJB comments. Uh, we have Crystal Lee Rodriguez joining us. Hello, Crystal. And, and again, uh, use hashtag HeyJB. If you would like your comment to be featured on screen, you can use hashtag HeyJB. If you don't want your comment to be featured on a news broadcast like our own, just don't use the hashtag. We'll let your comment continuously kind of scroll on by up the screen. Crystal Rodriguez, hashtag KGB. I could not believe this. I thought this was fake news until I opened this up. Honestly, I thought that she would outlive us all. The news originally broke about 40 or so minutes ago uh, from TMZ. TMZ was the first to, uh, to break it. Uh, People Magazine uh, soon there followed up, and now it's being widely reported uh, that Betty White um, passing away this New Year's Eve 2021. It's one of those stories you, you open up and you want it to be one of those those fake flare-ups of news, right? When you see an article and it, and it gets shared, and then the celebrity would come out afterwards and say, no, 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 I'm actually okay. But uh, we have, again, multiple reports now confirming that Betty White is dead at the age of 99. You wish it was different. You wish it was some New Year's Eve prank or even though it's, that's, that's not a prank that's, um, that you would ever want to see uh, with, with somebody's death, especially um, somebody as beloved as Betty White. You wouldn't want to tug at someone's heartstrings like that, but um, it's just absolutely terrible that we have this news here today. But again, we're doing this to honor the life uh, of Betty White, and you can do so by, um, by using hashtag HJB and get my attention here to the comment, comment section. Uh, Shea Terry with this next comment that's getting loaded up. And we've got a lot of people watching across various platforms, Facebook, YouTube, WFLA.com, our various Next Star sister station websites and apps. Shea is here, hashtag KJB. Her 80 plus years on TV is a record. It is. She broke barriers as the first female producer of a TV show and will be remembered as the amazing animal activist she was. May she rest in peace. I didn't really um, have that in my notes here in front of me, but I'm very glad that, uh, that Shea here brought it up. Um, her uh, her animal activism as well, and I'll see if I can bring up some notes. Um, yeah, she had a tremendous, um, she apparently was featured in many television commercials highlighting her interest in animal welfare. That was a big part of her life. Um, oh, and then he'd laugh, and I'd laugh. Sometimes even the horse would laugh. <laughs> I mean, I was the one who thought up big squeaky toys for cows. By the time I got to high school, the kids had made up this really mean nickname for me just because I had hairy legs. What'd they call you? Rose with the hairy legs. You can call me Enrique. No, I don't think I can. Maybe I'd better talk to Nurse Defarge. I think I could handle it with a little more tact. Ah, oh, good morning, ladies. Not for you, nursey, nurse, nurse, nurse. <laughs> was actually able to deceive me once. <laughs> Do tell, Rose. <laughs> St. Olaf's most famous OBMAG. What's that? Obstetrician magician. <laughs> the amazing Shapiro. He delivered Bridget. <sighs> but it was so confusing. It's a girl. Now it's a dove. Now it's a glass of milk. I don't know how he got her in that deck of cards. But there she was, right after the King of Hearts. Is this your baby? Ugh. All our children were conceived on special St. Olaf holidays. Adam was conceived on the day of the Princess Pig when they had the pig crowning. And Janella was conceived on Hay Day. That's the day we St. Olafians celebrate hay. Rose, do you think you could wrap this up before Rebecca goes into labor? Then there was the day of the 
of wheat when everybody came to town dressed as sandwiches. <laughs> Charlie and I forgot to put cheese between us, and before I knew it, there was Kirsten. <laughs> I, I was just having a conversation with, with two people over there, speculating on if you could have any two people in the world, living or dead, to your house for dinner, what would you eat? You don't realize how much you care for a man until you see him streaking toward the earth trying to grab a bird. I'd have gotten your rose, too, if my mother would named me Violet. Tonight, we were the king and queen of the rumba. <laughs> Olé. <laughs> And Agnes said you were a lot of hot air? And you said she was just jealous because she wasn't getting any? <laughs> and I said, getting any what? And you said, rice pudding, Rose? <laughs> Playing like Betty White out there. That's not what your girlfriend said. Oh.